Central Health Care in Redondo Beach. I'm Jay Cruz, sitting here with Steve Aspel, and we have our next guest. So let's get ready to kind of zen out and find out a lot about meditation. I just found out a lot about 1975 Cal Berkeley Bear football off air, so... Yeah, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> we've got a lot to talk to, but we'll be talking about uh, the Ananda Meditation Center with our next guest, Ram Smith. Yeah, hi, Ram. Uh, this is... Uh, I'm Steve. I met you about 10 minutes ago, so, oh, it's Robert Ram Smith. Yeah. Now, is that your nickname, Ram? Well, you know, when I was up at Cal, middle linebacker, they called me Big Bob Smith. Big Bob, <laughs> now, you, you, you slimmed down. So I've, so I've, I've slimmed down middle from, linebacker. from uh, you know, 240 down to about 210. Oh, you're uh, amazing. You're amazing. You're, you're in great shape, so I should listen to what you have to say here. So, you know, Ananda South Bay. Uh, that's your that's your company, right? Yeah, that's the, the business I represent. You're at Torch Boulevard yeah, in Redondo yeah, Beach. Yeah. yeah so tell me about Boulevard. this. What got you into this? Well, uh, what can I say? I, I started out when I was playing football, and you know, everybody knows football players are a little crazy. Yeah. So uh, I had to balance out my craziness with something that was going to heal me from all the knocks and the hits and the right. whatnots that I've gone through over the years. A lot of these guys they are having these mental problems and you know I've met a lot of football players that said, Bob, you did the right thing, you didn't go pro, you tried out with the 49ers, but you're blessed. You practice yoga and meditation for over 40 years after football. Did you start this while you were in college? I started when I was in college, yeah, yeah, and there was a book, this book right here, Collecting Dust. Autobiography of Yogi. Oh, yeah, man. very famous book. It is. Yeah. I so you you're 66. You're 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 a, you're a specimen. Trust me. You're you're barely older than me. You look 30. You look 30. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm no reason to say that it wasn't true. But you you did, you did all this after college football. It's a major college football. It's just, I played I played junior college. Yeah. And uh, you did all this without drugs or anything. You didn't have to worry. Like some people had to go into other other forms of uh, medication. You went to yoga. Yoga is, a, it, and meditation gives you a natural high. And that's what transformed my life. When I reached the end of my football career, I tried out with the 49ers, was with them in, in, in the, in the uh, was 76, uh, started six months with them. I got a few paychecks. Uh, they had a great linebacking crew, and so they said, hey, Bob, we're going to let you go. And I said, uh, that's great, I'm, I'm moving on. Okay. I had graduated from Cal under the Cost School of Business and okay. started working for Chrysler Credit down here in Long Beach. And I'm from Los Angeles, so... Where's um, high school? Dorsey High School uh, in, uh, down in... Uh, uh, Sorry. Uh, That's 1970. 71. I'm 71. Yeah, yeah. St. Bernard's High School. I yeah, 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 yeah. I stayed back a year. The coach influenced me. Said, Bob, I, you can go to any school in the country. I was three-time All-City uh, left guard right. playing at Dorsey, and uh, I signed on at Cal as a as a walk-on. I got accepted academically. Uh, wanted to go to Stanford, but they didn't. They said no. Cal said no. I walked on. Cal gave me a scholarship. Look at that. My first year. I'm Welcome. I'm impressed here. Yeah. That's amazing. But, but the yoga thing was my rehab of playing football, competitive football, for like, you know, high school and college for like nine years. And so I got into meditation because I started looking at this book and seeing how uh, people were sustaining their life, expanding their life expectancy or longevity. Um, through certain practices. And so after reading this book, I started studying yoga and meditation in 76. And it's been history. It's undreamed of possibilities. And now you help other people. I help other people way. find their way. And um, I've had a certain experience, which is unique. Everybody has their unique journey. Right. And my, my intention is to help convert you to your higher self, to your ability to be Endless. That's amazing. That, this is really a trip because these books that you you're reading all these books or you or you promote these books. I promote these books. Medi meditation yeah. for starters. How to meditate. Yeah. The flawless mirror. Yeah. And you said the, the book, the flawless mirror, says Kamala. Yeah. And this this is a unique uh, autobiography of a lady who lived down here in Manhattan Beach, um, and uh, with her mother. Her mother was the first woman medical doctor in Los Angeles, yeah, 
and it talks about their story of them meeting Yogananda, uh, the author of the autobiography of Yogi, in 1925. They met him when he came to this city. Okay. He had thousands of people outside of the Biltmore Hotel, the Philharmonic, the Shrine Hall Auditorium. He had hundreds of students throughout Los Angeles. And you're probably familiar down in the Lake Shrine on Sunset and PCH, where there's the uh, the uh, shrine dedicated to uh, all religions. It's uh, it's called the Lake Shrine. Long time ago. Yeah. yeah, Hugh Hauser uh, did a did a tribute. You can you. find oh, find it on uh, YouTube. But uh, Kamala was like 18 years old when she started meditating. She was the first woman yoga teacher of this tradition. And her story is very fabulous because it's a Los Angeles-based story. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I brought this book because I thought it was great. We have that at our center. So when someone comes to your, uh, you call it your clinic or your office or what? Do you well, we have a yoga meditation center. Okay. Yeah, and we have the lessons in meditations, learn how to meditate courses, uh, going on periodically throughout the uh, year. You can go to our website. Um, which is uh, listed here. So it's not like you care, you have office hours, you're by appointment and you yeah. work with people like that. Yeah, okay. and we do have programs that are listed. Uh, yeah, anandasouthbay.org. You can find our schedule there. But uh, yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, in group. You, that yeah. you actually work with high school athletes or things like that? Or I'd love to. Ever get you on that? Yeah, I'd love to uh, to do that. I can work with any 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 group, anybody, anybody yeah. in the world. Yeah, anyone in the world. I lived in I lived in Italy for seven years. They helped to start a, a yoga and meditation retreat in really? Italy. Yeah, in the the town of St. Francis of Assisi. Yeah, got it. Yeah. yeah. So I speak fluent Italian. Yeah, un po un poco. Uh, uh, I have a hard enough time with English, so you're amazing. <laughs> you do all this, you play football, you speak Italian. <laughs> and you lived there for seven years. Seven years. Yeah, so you went there on your own? Uh, no, we, we had a group of people who started this retreat center. It's still going. It's the largest retreat of its kind yeah. in Europe. I met uh, personally met Pope John Paul II on, uh, in 1989, March. And uh, he came and ble blessed our choir. We had a little World Brotherhood choir okay. singing songs of universal peace and brotherhood. He really enjoyed our songs. And uh, really? yeah, we were at the Vatican. Ten thousand people at the Vatican. Just wow. amazing. I was at the Vatican last May. Oh, okay. well, I was at the Vatican in 1973. Also, I was going to Italy. Okay. My first trip abroad. Yeah. yeah. Back my life. Just to go. Yeah, it was a fun, it's a fun story that I had. I was in uh, northern Italy and I was at the train station dropping off a friend and uh, somebody yells at me, Bob Smith, at this Italian train station. Bob Smith, he keeps yelling my name. I look up and there's this 6'6 six, six guy I play football with. <laughs> I think, I think his name was Joe uh, uh, DeRosa or Duke Leffler. I forget his name. Remember you. Yeah, he yeah. remembered me from Cal. How many years later? Yeah, and he had, was on his honeymoon, going uh, right near where we were had our retreat at that time. But uh, it's a fantastic journey. One of the most important quotes from this book, Autobiography of a Yogi, is from Carl Jung, the famous Swiss uh, psychologist. Yogananda quotes him saying. When you come to the teachings of yoga, there's undreamed of possibilities. And I, I'm a testament to that with my physical health and well-being after 40 years of practice. You're amazing. I, I mean, you're like a, I'm, I'm totally jealous right now. <laughs> you look like you could still be in college. Like yeah, you really yeah, yeah, so. We had, a, we had a college football reunion uh, not too long ago. All the guys gathered at Cal. They brought us out on the field at halftime, you know, to salute uh, Joe Roth, who was our yeah. All-American player, oh, right. who was also from Southern California, you know, from San Diego County, and uh, he came down with cancer, and uh, and uh, he transitioned before he got drafted. It was a it was a horrible thing, but anyway, the, the all the all the guys said, Bob, we don't know what you're doing, 
but whatever it is, it's you're doing the right thing. I, I can tell you, I wish this was TV because when people see you right now, I, I come across a lot of that pro football players who like to look like you know, college players, you know, especially with our age. Yeah, exactly. And they took the easy part sometimes about yeah. making themselves feel better. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And uh, you didn't. Yeah. Yo, so I should read this book. Autobiography of the Younger, it's a classic, 1946 publication. Translate okay. into many, many languages. Well, I wish we had more time. I'm going to have one on our show. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm going to get a hold of you. It's Robert Rav Smith, and you are in Torrance. But yeah. it's. Uh, For, yeah, Redondo Beach is our. Uh, Torrance, uh, Torrance Boulevard. Yeah, right now. yeah. Torrance Boulevard. 310 614 3562. RDS Smith. Or RD Smith 216 at gmail.com. What's a 216? 216 is a, a meditation number. It, it's 108 twice. And when you practice meditation, you start looking at your breath and feeling the energy within yourself, which is unlimited. You're amazing. We have to get together with you. Good show. I, I don't know where to start. I can retire him right now. All right, Ram. Thank you for being here. It's wonderful to meet you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. All right.